welcome, welcome, welcome to your mom's house with Tom Segura, Tom Segura, and Christina Pajitsin. Welcome to your mom's house. All right, welcome to another episode of your mom's house podcast. We have a lot of business to get to, but we have a lot of show. Thanks for for sticking around. How that is. Where's our sound? What's the what the Why is there no sound? OMG, is that thing? That sound. <laughs> That's the sound. The final weekend of Oddball. I'll be at the Shoreline Amphitheater Friday. I'll be at uh, Irvine Saturday and then Fartnicks Sunday. If you're in any of those cities, I'm doing the Oddball tour. It's been a lot of fun. Uh, we'll talk about the Texas run here in a little bit, but um, really a good time. Then I go back to regular old not amphitheaters. And um, I got a bunch. Just those lowly. These lowly clubs lowly and clubs. normal theaters and things like that, you know, where you see people normally perform. I have a very special show in Ontario, California. One show only, one night only, October 6th. Then Charlotte, North Carolina, October 13 through 15. Cox Comedy Club in San Francisco. Saturday is already sold out. Um, that's the 22nd, so you can only go Thursday or Friday for right now. Uh, New York, New York. Caroline's Jude Orc Titties. Caroline's on Broadway. Uh, two shows already sold out. You got to hop on those. Raleigh, North Carolina. And then Louisville, Fill Her Up, Delphia. We just added a fourth show at the Trocadero. Please get those. And West Palm Beach, coming to see you. West Harry Palm. West Harry Palm, coming to see you in December. Jeans, what do you got? Oh, my gosh. Oh, my God. This is a big deal. Seriously, this is it. This is the week I start my tour. I'm I'm out of retirement, out of baby retirement. Mm -hmm. (laughs) I'm doing one-nighter September 27th, Tacoma Comedy Club. Uh, September 28th, I'm at Portland at Helium. October 4th, Hyenas in Dallas. October 5th, Houston at... Shh, it's a secret group. Secret. Now, the thing with Hyenas, and I didn't say this before, there's two shows, 7 p.m. and an 8.30 p.m. One is in the Plano room, and then one is in the regular room. Yeah, okay. The Dallas. It's like, it makes no sense. But I don't know. But now there's a 7 p.m. in the Plano, and then 8.30. Whatever. October 5th, Houston. October 23rd. Wait, are you doing two shows in the same night? Yeah. Really? A 7 o'clock and an 8.30 at Hyenas Comedy Club in Dallas, Tejas. Why are you doing two shows in the I same, different different rooms? Different rooms. That's one's bananas. in the Plano room and then one's in the Why? Dallas room. It's, it makes no sense. It makes no sense. Okay. It okay. Uh, makes no sense. But hey, if you want to come to a 7 o'clock, go to that one if you want to sure. come earlier. October 23rd, Indianapolis, Morty's Comedy Club. October 24th, Cincinnati, Go Bananas. December 9th and 10th, uh, DC Improv. How exciting is that? That's it. There you go. That's what I got. Support her genesty. Her royal genesty. Her royal genesty. Uh, if you're in any of those cities. I'm so farty today and Thousandranch.com for her. TomSegura.com for me. Thanks for the fart note. I'm going to bring so many farts. Oh, guys, if you shop on Amazon, and I hope you do, please use our banner. Uh, go to your mom's house podcast.com. Click on the banner at the bottom of the homepage. Do your shopping as you normally would. It just kicks back some change to the show. Makes our lives better. There you go. All right. Let's do this. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. I can't wait for the... Con- you know, I was listening to the show, and there was all these ads, and it's like... <laughs> Joe Rogan does like three ads. Yeah. And then he does three hours. Why don't you guys like, do what that guy does? If he does it, how come you can't do it? I don't know. I don't know. How come you can't put your whole fucking head up your asshole? <laughs> how and, come you can't put both your way out of it? Right. Why don't you put both thumbs in your your cooch hole and pull them apart? And then show us send us a picture of that and we'll put it on the show. <laughs> That's our answer to your question about the ads. <laughs> Show us the inside of your <laughs> pussy hole. 
I know I can hear the tears coming, I can't you? I timed it. Guys. 16 minutes. <laughs> I mean, 16 minutes of ads? Are you serious? Well, here's the thing. Are you serious right now? If you watch an hour program on television or if you listen to radio, they have way more commercials. Joe Rogan, he did two ads yesterday <laughs> and he did a three hour show. And he's like, your show's not as good and you're not Joe. <laughs> And he didn't know he only did two ads. Why well, come? Why come you don't do like he do? How come he you don't? Uh, do? Well, why don't you bite the end of your dad's dick <laughs> off and then, uh, like smear the blood all over <laughs> your face, make a video, and then we'll play it on the show. Yeah, why that's don't our you answer. Come in your dad's balls. There you go. Your dad. Come comes, in your dad's butthole. Let uh, him hear it. Yeah, there's, there's the answer. <laughs> that's the answer you've been looking for. It's Let all your in your dad's dick that. and his balls. <laughs> Okay, you, are you upset still? Good. <laughs> are you going to cry? Are you going to change your diaper? There's so many ads. I don't even <laughs> want to hear them. I don't understand how fast forward works. <laughs> scroll. You know scroll, motherfucker? <laughs> scroll. I know. And by the way, we're talking to like the four people that message us out of like 200,000. Oh, sorry. It's. Are you going to hit me? I had to. Mine's on, mine's on air, airplane. Look. I'm showing you. Mine's on airplane. I'm showing you. It's your fault? I don't know. Well, don't mine's know on airplane. It couldn't have made that sound. All right. God damn it. Oh, it's you? I don't know. Of course it's you. It's not me. I'm on airplane. Let's start the show. Oh, I'm so excited it was you. You know why you don't fuck your friends? <laughs> I'll tell you why. i tell you why. You find them hideous. <laughs> That's why you don't fuck your friends. <laughs> this shit is big time! Who is Randy? Don't bring anyone mother to this. <laughs> your mom in the fucking stand! Welcome. Welcome. Welcome to your mom's house with Tom Segura. Tom Segura. And Christina Pajitsin. Christina Pajitsin. Welcome to your mom's house. I tried something new with the sound earlier. I was told that if I did this quarter inch to eighth inch mm -hmm. uh, line in setup, it would be better, mm -hmm. and it didn't sound as good. So I went back to the old setup. Is that and right? we also don't have the, haven't set up the new board yet either. Oh, should we, we have a new board? Kinds, yeah, oh, I right see there. it right there, yeah. Yeah. Well, why don't we hold it for the new studio? I mean, why bother setting it up here? We're just going to move it in like three weeks. What if this, this is a, this is, I don't trust this thing anymore. Uh, I wanted to burp, and then uh, there was barf under it, and I didn't. I don't trust this anymore. <laughs> Why? Is that what failed us? Yeah. That's the, oh. Well, the cable did. The cable did. We got a new cable in there. But it's not it's Yeah, but not the, the board is... Fault. But, well, the, it's a cable that came with the board, and this board's kind of dog shit. Hmm. Yeah. We well, gotta, then I guess we got to set that shit up. I need an engineer to come over. Yeah, I'd like that, too. Yeah. That would be great. Guys, we're so stoked. We, we're going to move into a new place. Yeah. We're going to have really a excited. fucking dope-ass studio in a, a little while here. way better than we are. Way better. It's much more advanced than we you are. You guys are going to shit when you see it. Uh, 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 uh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Now, see, that's the kind of burp I thought I was going to have. Yeah. And then there was too much vomit under it. And yeah. And I didn't want to push it. Are you sure you want to keep that couch in that room? <laughs> in the, the room? Why? Because you can't put, like, you can't, like, kick your foot up. Dude, you that know? couch, just so you know, the sound studio we're getting. Yeah, it's a real studio. It's the guy, the guy, the guy who owns it, owned he's it. He's a, he's a composer. A composer, and he scored movies yeah, and, and famous people. He told us Michael Mann sat on the couch. Guy Ritchie. Diarrhea Ritchie? Guy Ritchie. Oh, I thought, I thought you said Diarrhea Ritchie. Ice Cube. Ice, ice Poop. Yep. <laughs> Can you believe Guy Ritchie was married to Madonna? I know. How horrible would that be? Yeah. He's a right cunt. He's a right cunt, Harry Potter. Yeah. So. Harry Potter, he's a right cunt. <laughs> but that couch has like stories to it, right? And Ice Cube farted on that couch. Yeah, you're right. It's got wrapper farts. There's a weird stain on one side of it. Did you see it? <laughs> no. Yeah, there's a weird stain. What color? It's just like a, it looks like it has some type of water damage or something. 
on the left armrest. So you're telling me you don't want the couch? Well, not because of that. I was just thinking of being able to relax. You know, it's a relaxed room. Oh, you want to go in there and dad down? Well, I thought we would. We could watch movies in there also. Like, do you mm. want that to be the movie watching couch? Well, here's a good point that our real estate lady said yeah. is that that couch fits in there, Perfectly. and you know that it fits there. That's true. Versus the unknown. But here's what we can do: mm. the day of moving, we bring our shit there, yeah. and we test it out. And if we don't like it, that company that we use, they take away stuff. the stuff you don't want. Yeah. So like, no harm. Okay. No, no harm, harm, no, no fart. fart. Yeah. Oh my God, I was going to say it the same. Yeah, I know. God, you and I are like married. You know why you don't fuck your friends? <laughs> I'll tell you why. I'll tell you why. You find them hideous. <laughs> That's why you don't fuck your friends. She seems like she really has thought about this. That's smart. You I know, like her. You know, I love her, but you know what she hasn't thought about? Getting a haircut? A haircut and a proper support bra. Oh. Because you can see her tits are not harnessed in. Yeah. Maybe a whole new shirt. The shirt's magical. <laughs> it's like a Gandalf. Yeah. There's like, I don't know. It looks like it's been, it's like that spray paint style, you know? Like a mall. Yeah. Like a mall made shirt and there's <laughs> like scars it. and shit. No, I don't like it. But her tits are real uh, sloppy and they're moving around well, a lot. Well, let's see what she has to say. I think she might have more to say. Oh. You know? You'll lie to them and say, you know, you're attractive. You, you should go out and find somebody. Well, I found you. Yeah. Why don't you fuck me? <laughs> you think the thing is that she's desperate? Like, is she making this because she's yeah. not getting laid? Yeah. Cause it's kind of like, kinda angry, right? She's on the receiving end of yeah. not fucking. She's like, why don't you fuck me? That's, that's really the agenda here. Yeah. Yeah. Would you fuck her? Yeah, I'd fuck her. No, I'm being serious. No, don't don't not. just... Why not? Of course, because like she said, she's hideous. What if it's her? I'm giving you permission. Yeah. You have to no. fuck her. Okay, no. I got it. No. And anybody else? Do you have any other suggestions for fucking? Our, our Guatemalan nanny. Babe, what is wrong with you? That's the whole point. It's a hard one. It's God, a would I, you rather. It's the essence of it. That's so fucking horrible. Horrible. It's supposed to be. It's well, like, who do you bang? She's, it's like she's like a. I look at her like a grandmother. I you know? know. That's the point. Who I would can't, you I couldn't. Get? I couldn't. I'd take this animal. <laughs> They're doing these videos. <laughs> this animal. Yeah. That's such a dad, old dad thing. This animal. Well, she is. That's what my dad says. This fucker animal. Yeah, <laughs> that's what I would do. But that's what I'm talking about. It's like, I don't <laughs> know why we divide sex oh. from our friendly relationships with people. Look, you're two adults. Uh -huh. right? You're not related by, by blood. Yeah. Sounds like somebody's not returning her advances. Yeah, she, what she's doing, what happened, here's, can I tell you my theory on this woman? Mm -hmm. She has a, a friend she's attracted to. Yeah. Mm -hmm. An attractive friend. Yeah. This is all her inner thoughts yeah. coming out that yeah. she's never, that she's wanted to tell this one friend yeah. who she's been dying to fuck. Yeah. And for her, it's like, this makes sense. Like, the logic is there right. for her, and that's why she's spewing this out. But that friend doesn't want to fuck her. You know, yeah. at all. Like, there's not even any reciprocation. And it's such an easy fix. I mean, don't yeah. you think just a little bit of makeup? For this lady? A, a support bra. Yeah, maybe some therapy. She's not bad. Yeah, yeah therapy. Oh, clearly. Yeah, you got to work some out. You got some issues. You got to work out. <laughs> yeah. Especially if you're posting this on YouTube. Yeah, it's real bad advertising. <laughs> yeah. This is Why don't this you want to like fuck me? Real, like a, like, it's like a bad Facebook post, but, yeah. but worse because it's, it's you actually on video saying things. Yeah. Imagine her all of her friends that see this. They're all like, oh God. And he's saying it. Yeah. Or whoever this is yeah. for. Yeah. I don't want to use pronouns. I don't want to assume. Well, if pronouns. I were to guess pronouns, I think she's talking to her. <laughs> I don't think she's in the he's. <laughs> she zim zers. I don't think Zer is Zer. into Zims, Zim. if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> Not into Zenuses and Z Zolls. Oh, what, hey, uh, what's your uh, hey? What's your pronoun? <laughs> hey, what's your pronoun? Uh, I just, huh, I'm, oh, like, hey, oh, I saw you hey. walking up. I'm wondering, <laughs> what's your pronoun? With his cute little thumb rings. He's one of those dudes with thumb rings. Hey, what's your pronoun? Respect somebody's <laughs> pronoun. <laughs> do you know? That, do you know that we've gotten some emails um, in the academic world? Yeah. Um, Hello. Hi guys, we're doing one wide shot today, which yeah, is why we're we, like, we forgot to say something. Hi. Hello. This is how we're doing it today. We have no blue band, um, 
Blue Band is working on another project, and this is to kind of save time and post. Yeah. Hello. So, anyways, we've been getting these emails from ac- people in academia, mm-hmm. and now it's it's becoming the norm. To oh, write. somebody signed off with uh-huh. that. Uh huh. So you go it's like, like professor of this. Uh huh. Email, psychology number, department pronouns. pronouns yeah zims or he his whatever the fuck i think the craziest one <laughs> is that i'm gonna start doing that we on saw one life. it was like roger <laughs> something yeah and then it's like pronouns he him his and you're like right yeah that's what i thought roger. well that is typical of a cisgender isn't it is it? by the way in so my, privileged i don't know if you've seen this <laughs> but for a while now in my <laughs> I haven't made any anything about it, and I don't really get any <laughs> attention for it. But I've been very. Um, Hi. This is my look at my. Uh, this is my Twitter bio. Oh, I've seen this. Yeah, I'm a comedian. Zim slash Zer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <I'm>, <laughs> tweets from Tom signed fart. I love it. You know what? It, I, they always do that for super famous people. It's like tweets from Tom Cruise are signed T. <laughs> all the all those. Like oh, really right. famous people have that. I didn't know Because like their that. team manages it. Right, but right. Like, <laughs> but like if Barry Obama signed, it's like, well, those will be signed B.O. You know? Right. You know what I love is uh, when people think you're famous enough to have someone managing oh your social. It, it gives me a thrill. I know. Or they're like, I don't know who manages your Twitter account. I'm like, gee, neither do I. Yeah. <laughs> so Get in touch with them. I get that on <laughs> Facebook all the time. I don't know if Tom ever really reads this. <laughs> The truth is, so I don't, <laughs> no, <laughs> because don't. I hate Facebook emails. Oh, I hate so I it. check them like once a month. It'll oh, full inbox. I'll skip over them. The worst, can I tell you the worst Facebook message? Mm. You got to see this, <laughs> and a link. I go, nope, I'm never gonna look well, at it. Well, because for some reason the video never loads quickly. Like it, it's like a. I also don't want to take that chance. What's, I, what's the chance of of like spending time seeing something I don't care about? Oh yeah. So. If they describe something in imme- in amazing detail, but when yeah. it's just like this is hilarious, don't care. No. <laughs> yep. And nine times out of ten, it isn't. It's not. I'll or tell it's been you something I've been sent a hundred times. times. Like okay, Jesus Christ is my N word. We've been sent oh, that. Oh my God. We we get sent that daily to the show to oh. your mom's podcast at gmail yes. com, and that's a fake thing. So we yes. don't play that because we are big aware words. it's fake. I know it's stupid. We but I'll tell you, people that send us videos big words to the show. Yeah, they're funny. Those yeah, are funny. Those are great. We get a lot not, of good ones. Yeah, not like your dumb friends, Ooh. you know? Like, hey, yeah. do this shit. What was I going to say? I don't know. We're going to see more of this lady? Yeah. <laughs> Poor I'm, I'm, I'm tired of a society where people pretend to care about people. Oh, like, you know, it's, wow. like, it's like these poor like people with Down syndrome, you know? Like, <laughs> like, like, you know, they're put into this world and nobody's going to fuck them. Huh? You, you might have people who are like high functioning. It's not true. And yeah, these fun. people go, oh, I love these people. I take care of them every day. And, and I have a good friend who has, who's, he's high functioning. He has Down syndrome. And I feel like saying, did, did you fuck him? Did you fuck him? Did you, did you blow him? You know, the guy could probably really use a good blow Look job. Look at her tits jiggle. Did you see yeah. him move? Man, she's... She's got a lot of darkness inside of her. A lot of, of problem. A lot of anger. Yeah. Um, and she only cares about blowing yeah. down. Well, wha- By the way. That's her biggest problem. I was sent a link to, I think the show's called Born Like This. Mm. And I watched it. I was, I can't believe how misinformed I was on, like, the, your assumption of all Downs people. Mm-hmm. That, like, the how articulate and, and, and high functioning, to, to borrow from our... Our friend here. Yeah. Uh, these people were like two of really? them were married. Really? Yes. So yeah. One the guy they were like, "Are you interested in dating?" He's like, "I don't want to." Like he talked like that. I'm not interested in dating a girl with Down syndrome. <laughs> and they were like, "Why?" He was like, "Honestly, I'm not attracted to it." Like that was the level wow. of the conversation. And he said it like that. He didn't yeah. talk funny at all. No, there was no like uh, wow. uh, affectation. He didn't go like, "I don't want to." to. Mm. <laughs> nope. Pretty nice of you to to take it there, though. But that's what everybody. No, but I thought we're having a nice time. No, but that's what everybody listening is thinking. Because you're because you're talking like you're talking normally, and everyone in their head is translating it to retarded voice right now. (laughs) But that guy's that guy's (laughs) that guy's not retarded. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> that's that's the best part. <laughs> that guy's right. right. Fully functioning, and he just yeah. makes My himself. Mom's. Your mom's house. Yeah, yeah. 
He just makes himself retarded. But it was nice of you to go there. Nice of you. Not nice. No, it's it was what nice everybody's you. thinking. Okay. I'm just saying what no, the I listeners know. know. No, the the answer is no. They were like So he talk he talked like Tom Segura. I mean, I wouldn't take it there. He was like, oh, guys, I don't I don't feel like it. If it what? Like fucking like you're all I don't want to do Would you fuck a Down syndrome? No. No. Down syndrome girl or her? Oh. Uh, Honestly, this this lady really scares me. <laughs> I think there's some se- severe. Look how. Yeah. I mean that that looks like when you see somebody that killed somebody. Yeah. And they do a mug shot, and you're like, especially when it's a woman, you're like, Ooh, and they show that. I'm like, oh yeah, I see that. Like Eileen Warnick. There's or just whatever like her name there's is. there's just darkness in her, man. She's angry. You know what? This is like a like an East Coasty. Like yeah. you know, some of them are just so angry. Just because they're born on the East Coast? Because they they're there. like, we don't have Starbucks. We only have Dunkin' Donuts. And there's no sun here. There's no sunshine here. Oh, your mom's cunt. <laughs> yeah. yeah. The citrus is terrible. I know. She's mad because she can't get a decent avocado on the East Coast. Everybody gets mad about that. Why don't you fucking blow them? Did you fuck them? That's really, <laughs> that's a really, like for that to be your genuine perspective, I know. not at all on the normal register. not at all. Like, no. And that's probably... On the list of things a Downs person is concerned with, like they getting fuck. Laid. By the way, that's the other thing is she, yeah. but she's wrong about she's that. Wrong. She they, she they she's wrong. They have a lot them. of sex. No, I didn't download caffeine. Anyways, <laughs> <laughs> every time this thing goes to sleep, I get twenty five messages. Get caffeine, asshole. <laughs> I know, and I keep forgetting. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so we're so grumpy today. I know. Um, I'm gonna put my foot up here. Okay. Uh, yeah, she's 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 grumpy. All right. Uh, very curmudgeonly. You know, I'm like I'm sick of straight women. You know, like oh. straight women who who right. claim they they're trying to understand us poor lesbians. You want to understand me? Got it. You want to help me? Okay. You you want to help me? Yeah. You, any straight women out there? Yeah. Lick my cunt. <laughs> Lick it. Until I come in your mouth. <laughs> that didn't do it for you? Oof. This is a really... This is the it's, equivalent it's of some really sexually repressed dude. Yeah, it's a Being like, lot. women are fucking assholes. Suck yeah, my dick. Like, it's a lot. She's that aggressive. She's like a, she's like a dude. It's <sighs> upsetting. Yeah. It's like a bummer. How upset she is? Yeah, yeah. it's unattractive, too. The what part? <laughs> Is it all the physical features <laughs> that are thrown together? No, or it's is it not the that. attitude. It's the attitude. Yeah. Because th- honestly, somebody in the world would find her a physical. She's not physically. If unattack- you're she's talking not about bad. after an adventure and like they maybe like digging through some caves, there would be someone <laughs> we could find that would fuck her. You said somebody <laughs> in the world. I'm just saying that they're not around probably that much. But if you kept searching and you got like a like a group of people together, and it was one of those things where you went. You know when they have like 70 <laughs> people walk through the, the woods and they, yeah. they each have a flashlight? Right, like a search party. Then and they then could they... find the one person that would fuck her. I got what you're saying. <laughs> yeah, you're right. You want to be a helpful straight woman? Open up a nice little lesbian sexual clinic. And you can go in there and dress up in a nurse's outfit with a short skirt. And you can come in and go, hi, honey, time to get your sponge bath. And then you whip your tits out and you rub them on my fucking, rub them in my face. Yeah, she's so unattractive. Dude, she's really crazy. I feel like I need to tell her, you know yeah. how you're gonna get laid? Yeah. Not that. Like I right. need to help her. How how would you help her? First of all, lick my cunt like that. <laughs> lick it. <laughs> First of all, yeah. she has a positive attitude. Yeah, lesbian or not, no one likes a Debbie Downer like I know. that. It doesn't matter what you are. And then right? maybe change the T-shirt. Maybe wear a bra. Yeah. I mean, I don't think she wears deodorant. Do you? I think she would be like, you know what? How about I will buy a new T-shirt and I'll <laughs> fucking wear some makeup. Yeah. And then all you got to do. Lick my cunt. He's like my cunt. <laughs> Lick it. She, she really throws it out there. She does. Yeah. She's aggressive. Do you remember it. that one time when we were in New York City for my 30th birthday? We were with Shauna and Jimmy. Yeah, three years ago. I remember. Thank you. Yeah. And we were in, in the, what's their park? What's uh, their park called? The Central big park? one. Central Park. Yeah. And Dumpy that Fun girl's Bags. That girl's Dumpy Fun Bags. Yeah, <laughs> I remember. And it, it's been stuck in my brain for 10 years. It's yeah. a woman who walked up to us, and she wanted to she bum, she wanted to bum a cigarette. Yes. And she was wearing a shirt. With a t-shirt. A like t-shirt a white t-shirt. With no bra. 
and but enormous <laughs> tits. And she was young too. Right. That's what stood out. She was young. She was in her twenties. She's like a cute. Yeah. But there she were like nice sloppers. Kid. I remember just being like, I bet like for twenty bucks, I could be like, Hey, will you eat my asshole out for twenty bucks? And I bet she'd be like, All right, like twenty. No, she's like, Can I bum a cigarette? You're like, yeah. If you eat my asshole. Yeah. Do you think she'd do it for a cigarette? Probably. I think she was, uh, you know, down enough <laughs> on life that you could have been, you could have asked for anything. What makes you think she was down on life? Oh, she looked really, really like she was. <laughs> bummed out like she didn't belong she looked like a runaway wow you really remembered her yeah yeah because i was like oh, my wish chain would take a walk so i could see like could figure <laughs> out with this chick you know because her tits what was neat about and that why it sticks out in my mind yeah honey i can stick my fucking tongue straight up your fucking ass like a spoon <laughs> yeah it's the way that they moved like you ever seen when the ladies the burlesque ladies with the tassels yes they go like boom 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 her tits boom, moved boom, like boom. that just from walking from walking yeah <laughs> but they went like this yes. boom you're right boom you're until right. they did, they didn't sync up right it was also one of yeah. those boom. things where the four boom. of it was the four of us uh-huh we're I, like we all <laughs> her tits are crazy <laughs> everybody yeah. saw it at one yeah. and it's rare when four people they notice like, the exact same thing they were like thing. triple j's yeah <laughs> on a 21 year old girl <laughs> yeah <laughs> and, and like shauna and She's I like, still I've been sleeping at the bus it. station for days now. <laughs> I bum a cigarette. She did not say that. She looked like it. <laughs> she did. She uh, looked like it. And I was like, why don't you give me a fucking blowjob? Jesus, Tom. You know? God, you're so aggressive. Dumb bitch. <laughs> Sitting over okay. here. Okay. Fucking lick my cunt, you know? Jesus uh, Christ. That's what I was thinking. You yeah, know? emotional problem. The guy could probably really use a good blowjob. Right? That's what I felt like, that I could use one of those. She's very repressed. Yeah. She's yeah. angry. She's really angry. Really, man. She's seen so many beautiful women that weren't attracted to her. Yeah. That She's left were, behind. Yeah. But it's her doing. It, it is. Yeah. But you don't see it. When I, whenever anyone, like everyone's, I don't know, not everyone, but like whenever you're frustrated like that, it takes a while to, to separate, and sometimes some people never see it. But it's not other people; it's yeah. you it's and you your perspective. Bro. Yeah, because there's someone for everyone. I've been there. I've been in that position, you've, sitting at not like you've been that. in wolf shirts position. Not in wolf shirt, but I've been in like <laughs> this sucks. You know? Yeah, everyone gets that. You're you get in, shitty sitting around mind. an apartment, and then you're like, "Well, why not me?" But you're not gonna figure it out in the apartment. You got to get out of your apartment. Because you you want to know why you're all fucked up? Yeah. Because your friends are fucking losers. Because yeah, the fucking bums you hang <laughs> around with. Well, it's true though. Yeah. It, is, it true. is true. It's her negative, and her negativity is just gonna repel. It's true. Other women. And you have to. Who wants to hang out with that? Doesn't matter where you are in life. You can't be around negativity. No. That is the kiss of death. I agree. Is like negative pe- people that are always always complain and are down. Ugh, that's the worst. Sh- every shit on everything, and everything sucks, and yeah. fuck that person. I tell you, those people are poison, man. Yeah, show me your friends. I'll show you your future. Yeah. Damn pain, you said. You're sitting around your apartment like, why don't you fuck me? (laughs) Yeah. Because the thing is, if she dolled up a little, changed her attitude. Go for a walk. Go for a walk. Go to the bar. Go meet other women. I mean, there's someone for everybody. Get another wolf shirt. Get another wolf shirt. Put some, get some hairspray. (laughs) I don't wear fucking makeup, you dumb cunt. Why don't you lick my cunt and I'll come in your mouth? That's a oh cool thing to God. say. my God. That's really aggressive, Tom. That's what she said. You little fucking come in your mouth. Come in your mouth. Oh, my God. Rub your tits on my face. We're it's talking about a woman. Here. I know. But yeah. women have dark thoughts like that, too, of course, Tom. Of course. Do you have that those, those thoughts sometimes? Rub that. Rub those big tits in my face. Or like, why don't you stuff your dick in my mouth? Like that. Yeah, kind of, all the time. Really? That's how I think. That's how I think. So I go through like life. when you're frustrated, you're like, "Why don't you stuff your balls in my mouth?" Oh. <laughs> <laughs> like some guy behind the counter, you're like, "This guy's good looking." Why don't you then, stuff your balls in my oh, mouth? Yeah, why don't you stuff your fucking balls in my <laughs> mouth? I'll drain them. And he's like, Excuse me. I don't think I've ever. Never. Not that aggressive. But kind of, right? But kind of, yeah. Like I want him, like the the meat and the potatoes, the dog in the bathtub in my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> but you, but as a woman, do women you do you have those thoughts sometimes? Aggressive sexual, yeah, yeah. yeah. But uh, that's usually in the act of, or yeah, you know, when you and I are ramping up. All, but let's I'll talk have, about like, okay. Let's talk ag- about but fun aggressive, well, not since, like let's, okay. Let's take me out of the equation. Let's say like way before we were together. Yeah. Did you ever have? It's like, like fourteen years. Right, ago. but let's say you're, you know, <sighs> I can't remember that far. You're seeing the guy. He's he's, he's wheeling the trash back. No, and you're like. <laughs> 
Yeah, like he's wheeling it back to the curb, and you're like, why don't you stuff that in my no. asshole? No? No. Why? Not like that. I, I don't, not that angry. She's angry sexual. Yeah. She's so hard up yeah. that her horniness has turned into rage. Right. Like she's angry horny. What gives that away? Lick my cunt. Lick it. <laughs> I don't think I've ever been angry horny. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> what about you when you see that lady in front of the Vons and she's missing all her teeth, but she's got that sign and she's got some free kittens. Yeah. And she's her face is a little dirty and her beard has grown in just a little. Yeah. And her tits just All right. I don't know what the hell was going on there. Stop again. She What's going on? Why is that about to close? What's going on? I don't know. Hold on. Hold on. Why is this? Stop. One, two. Um, all right. I don't know. We just had some weird technical thing there with our... Fuck me, man. So sick but of it's it. recording, okay? Yeah, it's recording. It's fine. I just got scared. I got scared. Did you pee in your pants? A, a little bit. Back to my question. Yeah. You see the lady in front of Vaughn's with a sign. Yeah. And she's got the free kittens, and her beard has grown in, mm -hmm. and her tits are a little loose because they're not in a bra. Yeah. She probably smells pretty bad. D but that doesn't stop you. No, that's the thing. If you paint a different picture without the smells, I can, I can probably <laughs> approach it. The smells are too much. Because I've sat, I've walked by those ladies. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah. The smell's overwhelming. So one of those ladies or le a lesbian <sighs> wolf lady? I think this lady might murder someone. She's she's so she's angry, angry, horny. Yeah. She's horngry. But she also has um, empty, soulless eyes. Yeah, so, she's mentally ill. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> that lady without the teeth and the kittens, she's a little, she's nurturing and a little loving. But she's got to take a shower. She's got. <laughs> what if you brought her home and we showered nope. her? No. Nope. Why? I don't want to bring her home. A, a hotel. The hotel I take her to. Yeah. Motel. Motel. Yeah. Yeah, it's not worth a hotel. No, no, no. Yeah. <laughs> And then I'd be like, hey. Hey. Here you go. Here you go. Here's a few bucks. And then you'd have to shave up her cooch, too. It's yeah. all fucked up. Yeah. Um, what? <clears throat> How's your beard coming back in? It's not good. No, it's good now. It was bad last week. Yeah. You got all fucked up. Your beard got all jacked. You got all fucked up. But now your beard's growing back in, and it's starting to look good. What yeah. do you think? Tell me how you feel. Um, I'm feeling pretty, I'm feeling better. Every day is better. He really fucked me up. Uh, <laughs> it jacked your yeah. fucking face. He jacked it up, dude. You look fucked up. It yeah. was really funny when you came home. It was really, your oh, face, man. I'll never forget your face. Because your <laughs> eyes really were like, woo. He gotcha. What happened there? <laughs> he gotcha. Every now and then a hairdresser gets, they get you. Yeah. Every now and then it happens, it just happens. Hey, I'm going to do a poll on Twitter. I just thought about this. What's the poll? I'm going to do what should I name my tour? Uh-huh. And I have and I have I think 3 or 4 options. I know. What? Stanima. The Stanima tour? <laughs> Stanima. <laughs> yeah. Um Stanima. Stanima. That's pretty good. I like Stanima. But I don't know if that's going to be in my What about fuck my beard? My beard sucks. Beard beard fucked? I'm beard fucked. <laughs> I got beard fucked, you guys. <laughs> My um, beard sucks. Suck beard. Beard smells. That's a, I like beard smells. No. Oh my god! So loud. I like beard smells. I've always liked that one. No. To the no no no. To the no. To the no. To the no no no. I was thinking hell to the no as the tour name. I like hell to the no. Yeah. Okay, so what are your front runners? Let's okay, go. here we go. Here they are. Yeah. They are my hell to the no. Mm -hmm. uh, verifiable mm -hmm. as a tour name. I don't understand that one. It's a play on a couple things. It's like, you know, it's check mark. Like you can, this is like verified. Like Twitter? Yeah, yeah. This is verified. Uh-huh. This is verifiable. <laughs> yeah. It's also, I think, a play on the sincerity. Like, because I could see someone doing that sincerely. Like verifiably good you know uh-huh so it's like kind of a, a joke about that like um yeah give me the check mark uh fresh on parole mm -hmm. is one and then i have 
No teeth, no entry. Hmm. Those are my leading tour names. What do you What do you feel in your gut? I think I want to go with Hell to the Gnaw. I like that one. Hell no. Nah. And you just got your theme song. So when they bring you on stage. Yeah. Hell to the Gnaw. Everybody, can we do it? All right, you guys. Are you ready for your headliner? Yay. Oh, here he is. You've heard him on your mom's house. You've seen him jerking off in alleyways. Give it up for Tom Segura. Here you go. Hey, guys. What's up, Tom? I like that. Here you go. Yeah. Who sings this? this Yeah, who sings this? Bishop Bullwinkle. Oh, Bishop, right? (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. I think this is great. And then your poster could be you dressed as the bishop. Yeah. How That's, about what if I called? Suit. What if I called my tour? Um, watch this bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> I love watch this bullshit. I can't put it That's as the hilarious. tour name, but that's really funny. Why not? Watch this bullshit. Watch tour? this bullshit. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> watch this bullshit. <laughs> 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 What that were, is the best clip. What were his other ones that, that he was said? That's so funny. He goes, watch this. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. Guy, he was so drunk on oh that tour. Oh, my God. The best yeah. is that w- when that happened is they were, they were in North Korea, and they were doing a presentation. A state dinner, Singing basically. for him. Yeah. yeah. And then he grabs the mic. He, karaoke. Watch this bullshit. Wow. Ah. So loaded. <laughs> so <laughs> drunk. What a dick. Oh, my God. Uh Oh, I guess there's also um, I'm Polly and I'm Bi. Oh, that's a good one. Nah, I don't. The like Polly and Bi tour. I know, but nah. people are gonna be like, "Wait, it's what? too confusing." If they're not fans of the show, I know. It's like when you do a stand-up show and then podcast fans just yell shit out. <coughs> are you Polly? But you know, and you're like, I can't, I can't right now. You don't like uh, beard smells? I liked beard. Beard smells. smells is good. What is a maze? Oh, look, this is great. What is a maze? <laughs> mm. <sighs> That's so good. Oh man. I don't know. Well, I think I think the answer you have it. I think it's held to the knock. Yeah. Did you write down my my my? I top? did. Okay. I did. Kiss my pussy would have been good too. Ah, oh, kiss my but pussy, again, kiss, kiss. They have my to print pussy. it on these tickets and everything. I think that's even funnier if you yeah. get a ticket and it's like the kiss my pussy. Tom Segura presents kiss my pussy. Yeah. Or Golden Voice or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> presents uh, the kiss my pussy tour. Kiss my pussy. Yeah. Kiss it. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. No. That's a good one. So what I'm are my what are my top ones again? All right, you got hell to the nom. Uh huh. You got verifiable. Mm-hmm. Fresh on parole. Mm-hmm. No teeth, no entry. Yeah. I think that's top four. See, now I like fresh on parole. So do I. You know why? It made me laugh when you just said yeah, it. Yeah, you chuck. And it's always yeah. a good thing when it makes you laugh. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But hell to the naw. It's so dumb. It's it's dumb, but it also has, it's catchy, right? Yeah, like it's the actual, silly. It's a silly name. Hell to the naw. And you can play that song yeah. when you come out on stage. I might be able to even book Bishop Bullwinkle somewhere. That'd be fun. Yeah, to sing it up. But Fresh on Parole, hmm. it's stupid. It's very stupid, which amuses me a lot. Yeah. yeah. Fresh on Parole. Well, you know, it's tough. This is one of uh, the toughest decisions <laughs> we've ever had to make. Mm. Make a bridge and get over it. That's what That's I got to do. That's what I got to do, though, about this. It's a good one. <laughs> All right. Well, I'll tweet that out. If you want to vote for me, vote. Okay. All right. Kiss um, my pussy. Kiss, kiss, kiss my, my pussy. pussy. Look what's here. Hmm. It's a quarter of a piece of bread that I didn't eat last week. Somebody pointed that out, I think, in a tweet or something. Oh. Yeah. I don't know why I didn't finish. Hmm. I don't know why it's still here. It's um, hard. It's really hard. You were talking Let's earlier. Give it to Gigi. About um, Stanima, Stanima, you know, and how Stanima, Stanima, how it's important to have Stanima. Yeah, um, the Stanima kid yeah. put together some raps. Oh, cool! I think he's rapping. Someone said to me, he's rapping about social injustice, possibly. Okay, that's kind of exciting. Let's hear. Let's hear what he has to rap about. Can't, uh, w- can't wait to hear your raps. Stan- Stanima. Okay. My is my desire. Yeah, my desire to my desire. Hmm. Can't quit with the dissing the bitchin'. 
Mm-hmm. Of the fake artificial world. Everything's artificial. All these nerds going to fap into Victoria's Secret. Hmm. And they complaining they don't have money because they spend money on these Twitch hoes because they can't control their desire. But the, the minute you call them out, it's politically incorrect. You're a woman hated misogynist. This is political correctness. Up the ass, political correctness. Hmm. hmm. Is that the son of the lady that wants me to lick her cunt or no? <laughs> Because I see a lot of similarities. Yeah, including hairstyle. A little anger. Yeah, that was not a, that was not his best verse. I don't think. No. Um, I'm not inclined to continue, but um, do you want to hear one more verse, oh, possibly? Uh, no. Uh-huh. I think he needs to work on it a little. Yeah. Maybe. Um, mm. Just work on it. He talks about words in the second verse. Okay. Now. All right. Let's give it a know him listen. From I can't even I can't even look on my computer screen because they, they want to castrate me and crucify me over some pol- and political incorrectness. Can't even use the word slow anymore because it's wrong and, and, and they need to take it out the dictionary. These people want to take everything out of the dictionary because everything's offensive to them. Yeah. Okay. You know what? Mm. I was thinking, and uh, correct me if I'm wrong. Yeah. The w- one thing you really need to rap is flow. Yeah. He's got you that. that. That's what before. you're saying, right? He's got it. He's got the look. Yeah, you're saying he's, he's got. <laughs> so you're saying he's got the the one thing you need. Got it. He's got the hair. Yeah, he's got it all. Lyrics check. Mm-hmm. Flow check. Check check. Video check. check. Got an email about the poo pile. Oh bullshit! Um, your poo pile. Poo pile. Lies. <laughs> Next stop, Crown Talk. Crown Talk coming up. <laughs> Makes me laugh for me. You've been yeah. warned. It says, hey, Jeans, I just wanted to pile on the heap in the poo story debate. Yeah, yeah. I am inclined to believe Tom because okay. on Boy Scout outings, we would do something similar. You were supposed to dig a sizable hole, yeah. but being fascinated by fire and fucked up stuff as teenage boys, we would use sticks leaves or we would we could find a sizable sheet of bark to move the poop into a mound <laughs> we would then set the very flammable methane lace shit stack ablaze <laughs> best ben jeans <clears throat> it's not Thanks, ex- ben. it's not exactly the way you described your poop pile uh, it's not exactly the same but it's not even similar i'll yeah. tell you why you at one point lied and said that you had a ladder and that you guys would climb up the ladder. That's not a lie. And hang your asses over the ladder yeah. and then shit off a ladder, which is almost impossible. Not off of a ladder. Uh-huh. It was a ladder on a tree. You know, it was like no. there were steps someone hammered into a tree. Yeah. So you could climb up a makeshift ladder. And then on the tree, there was a like a seat, like a ledge you could sit on and shit from the tree. But you climb that. Uh, this is so stupid. <laughs> And that you keep adding to the lie. I'm not adding. Adding to the I'm lie. I'm not adding. Adding it's, to the lie. I'm not adding. But it's there's. The, n- why would you do that? Why would you go through the trouble of building a makeshift ladder on a tree? Yeah. So you could climb up it and then so you shit could, so on So you could poop pile. on the poop pile. That's a lie. We go poop think, pile like that, and then people would, they would drop what they you were said, doing. You said, you know, the children would come running for they miles would. to they shit would. on the poop pile. They loved it. The kids <laughs> loved it. Neighborhood kids, you'd see they would drop their ice cream just to do it, you know. <laughs> okay, it was really now neat. I know you're it was really fun. Officially lying, I'm not. Guys, don't believe Tom Segura. Yeah, Who are um, you believing this guy. We got another email from a listener that says, um, "Hell no." My my husband is now using a double pipe classic excuse to fart all over the place. Thanks, well. guys. I blame <laughs> you both. I want this to stop. No more double pipe classic mythology. It's uh, low and loose, Jess. Okay. Wow. Did you hear it? Yep. Yeah. Did you hear it? Yeah. See, I can't do that when Blue Man's in the room. Right. I feel like it's too it's too much for him. Yeah. I'm his mother figure. Mm-hmm. I don't I feel like he can't see can't him doing it? that. Yeah. He doesn't have the stamina. The stamina. Yep. <laughs> you heard it first here. Sorry, Blue Man. <laughs> No uh, farts. Um, uh, hi, mommies. I'm a huge fan of your show as well as Mommy Jeans. That's Deep Bro. Thank you. Which is my weekly jam that keeps me sane. Thank you. Normally, I wouldn't chime in, but after, after listening to your last podcast, I had to say something. You guys were talking about naming your next born Carl's Jr. <laughs> well, <laughs> I have a one. 
<laughs> I forgot about that. that I have a one and a half year old daughter whose exclusive <laughs> nickname is just that. Oh, I nicknamed her Carl when she was just a newborn, oh. and somehow it morphed into Carl's Jr. <laughs> my super uptight mom always has to throw her two cents in oh. about how I'm screwing up my kid and giving her gender identity issues Uh-oh. because of this. Uh-oh. I say in an era where people name their kids Cherries, Waffles, Tennis, and Apple Race Car Whatevs, this nickname is totally acceptable <laughs> considering <laughs> she has a normal girl's first name for all intents and purposes, which I typically call her in public. My hope yeah. is that you guys can weigh in on weird family nicknames you were called and ones you plan on embarrassing your kid with. Also, am I fucked up? <clears throat> am I fucked up parent for calling my kid this hilarious nickname? What's the long term damage? Thanks, love y'all. No. Zoe. Um, I have to say, you're talking to nickname fanatics. Oh, yeah, we have 10 nicknames for everybody. If it's house. a problem, we're in trouble. <laughs> so we have a lot of nicknames for ourselves, for each other, for the friends. Dogs. Yeah, I mean, you know, I mean, we actually, many of you know our good friend Ryan Sickler. <laughs> I started calling him Sickle Cell about no, 10 I years ago. No, I started calling him Sickle Cell. No, you didn't. Oh. And I called him Sickle Cell. I'm sorry. Cell. I'm yeah. sorry. Yeah. No, no, no. You need to get your life because that was mine. No, no. No, I've called him Sickle Cell the longest. Wrong. Sickle no. Cell was mine. You better get your life. You're lying no. now. No, I'm no, not. You're lying. No, I'm not. You like Babe. to claim things that I did. No, I called yours. him Sickle Cell after Sickle Cell anemia. Uh, no, I called Babe, him. Babe, I know what it's named after. I, I know what I called him. You're going to claim of course. Sickle Cell. Of course. I said it, it's then you laughed. And I remember when I told it to you. You do not you remember laughed. when you told it to me. No, you laughed, and then you go, we can't call him that. That's so inappropriate. And I go, no. that's the fun. He's a comedian. It's fine. No. You're so crazy. You're going g- <laughs> to... You're so crazy. What are you talking about? I came up with sickle cell. You don't even know what sickle cell anemia was at the time. What are you talking about? You don't know these things like I know. Okay. Anyways. Oh, my God. <laughs> okay. Let's ask sickle cell. Okay. Let's ask him. You want to call him right now? Yeah. All right. But he doesn't know who invented it, I don't think. Maybe he'll have a recollection. I think he's going to say it's me. Well, that's what you're claiming, so I would assume that you think that. But you did not. But then how does he know who invented it? Because I could have told you at home, and then you could have said it first to him, and then he thinks you came up with it because you were the first well, to say it. You you seem, you have a reputation. We'll just say Oh, my that. God. Oh, so my God. <laughs> you're... you're your reputation oh my is, God. is a shaky memory. Okay. So uh, okay. I don't think it's... First of all, that's, that's so fucking bullshit. What? You're such a bullshitter. You're <laughs> just smiling because you know you're lying right no, now. I think it's so funny that you... Everything that I, I say, you're like, I, th- I thought of that. Oh, my I, God. I said that first. I did say that first. Okay. All right. Oh, my God. I, I fucking hope he answers. I hope he does, too. Let's see what happens. How come what it's going... That? Whoop. I don't know. Horrible. He's not going to answer. It's some weird Skype number. No. God damn it. You're so, so full of it. I named him that. I did. God damn. I thought of Sickle Cell. Okay. All right. Okay. So I'll just give you, I'll just give you that bone. So Christina. Oh my God. Heard me say something and then. Said that she did it. Oh my God, you're such a shit bag. <laughs> Next, you're going to say you came up with El Chapo. That was mine. Okay. Chapito is mine. Chapito is yours. El Chapo. I called him El Chapo first, the baby. Right, El Chapo. I'm the queen of nicknames and songs, and you even told me that. You're good at it, yeah. Thank you. But you didn't come up with Sickle Cell. Oh my God. You didn't. Oh my God. You didn't. That is one thing I know I came up with is sickle cell. You did not. You're such a shitbag. You are. You're a liar. Babe. It's, oh it's my terrible. God. I'm embarrassed for you. Oh my God. I'm okay. embarrassed for you. I'm embarrassed for you. Where's your fucking water? Water champ. What right are you here. drinking? That's not water. Yeah, it is. It's salted flavored water. I'm the real water Zero champ. Zero sodium. By the way, by the way. Zero sugar. Zero By carbs. the way. When I, I got a lot of tweets from people who saw your shows in Texas reporting back to me, you had no water on stage. Okay? I did have water on stage. Oh, but you, didn't t- but you didn't touch it. Right, right. So, okay. I did 20-minute sets. T- so what? I don't go 20 minutes without hydrating. <laughs> <laughs> well, look at your Yorkie sip. It doesn't matter. I do frequency. Now, let's talk about nicknames. Did you okay. have any well, embarrassing? Well, hold on. Let's go back to this. And not about, all right. You named him Sickle Cell. Um, so the point is, 
we call our friend Sickle Cell. Oh my God. Um, which is for people that are that don't know what's going on, and then they hear you go like, "Hey, Sickle Cell!" Like, believe me, we've seen people turn. He- Even one of our friends heard the nickname, ended up working with Ryan somewhere <laughs> years ago, saw him, and yelled out in an office setting, "Sickle Cell!" <laughs> and she said this guy <laughs> popped over the. Uh, it was like a cubicle, and he went like sickle cell. Yeah. And then Ryan was like, uh, 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 that's what they call me. I like had to. Because I came up with it. You thought it was right. so offensive. You wouldn't say it for the longest time. I called Ryan sickle cell first, and he went. And then you hopped on board. Okay. That's how it worked. Okay. Okay. Remember, remember, <laughs> <laughs> remember when? Remember when you went to the dentist, and then they're like. That's no. a lot of cavities. I had the and same thing you, happen, but not with the same thing. <laughs> happened, that happened to me, too. Oh, my God. It did happen Remember to me. Remember when you studied in Spain for a semester? I did not do that. And I know I did not do that. <laughs> <laughs> you have such a dad laugh I now. Uh, can, can we talk about this topic, though? I like this idea. Okay, I know what your parents called you. <laughs> Let's have some oh laugh you have now. I know. It's You're coming. Turning into your top. I'm turning into top dog. I know. <laughs> your parents called you the king of the dumps. King of the dumps is my my dad calls me he calls me big dog. Yeah. Uh for a while it was like when I was a kid, it was Kaka Maker. Uh-huh. Um, King of the Dumps. Um Yeah. You know, stuff like that. They call me Kristika. Yep. Krista Lo, mm-hmm. as in a horse. There's some rhyme in Hungarian. That's right. Tell people what that song means. It means the snow is falling, mm. the horses are farting, and the the littlest, littlest horse is taking a shit. Is taking a shit. <laughs> That's a Hungarian, <laughs> like a. It's like a children's song. Yeah. So uh, there was a time where we called each other Lo at the end of it, like Crystal Lo, Papi Lo. Mm-hmm. So they called me Chris, Crystal Lo. Why? Why did they call you that? I forget Lo. We just added because that song was around our house. Oh. I go, oh, Christy Lo, and we were just singing a lot. So I became Crystal Lo. Ho, <clears throat> Christy Lo. Yeah, or Christ, to... Christa Patsy, which is a uh, horse too. Right. Christa Patsy. You Christa do have Lo. a ho- you have horsey energy. <laughs> you do. Like a lot of times you walk kind of horse like. Not true. Yeah, and yeah you have that's like, not true. You kind of have like a like a prancing horses kind of walk. I feel like. Not yeah. true. Yeah. I have bird energy. <clears throat> bird energy. I'm more of a bird. I like to perch, and I look like a bird more. Yeah. I don't yeah. have, and I have dog energy. Yeah, you like have a Brussels horse legs though. You have horse legs. How the thin and beautiful? No, I, I was very shapely, mu- muscular, and strong. She's very strong. Yeah. <laughs> Why are you making fun of me? How f- uh, strong I am. Because I've seen you do squats. <laughs> <laughs> you saw me doing them this yeah, morning at yeah, 5 a.m.? Yeah. And my lunch. We got a lot of nicknames, by the way, for our son. I know, and I just, I, what I did, and guys, if you have children, I recommend doing yeah. this. Open up an email account for your kid and then send them emails when they're babies. Yeah. And then eventually, you know, they can read you all the cool stuff. And actually, at the same time, that you started doing that, which I think is wonderful. I'm going to send him an email as well. Oh, um, please don't. Why? He doesn't want to hear from you. He told me. <laughs> okay. Um, Nathan Timmel, comedian, sent us a letter, sent us a book. It's called It's Okay to Talk to Animals and Other Letters from Dad. So he's a great comic. A buddy of mine used to live here. And he, he wrote he wrote this book. Um, it's a collection of letters that he wrote to his daughter. It's the same day you you started doing that. That's that so book crazy. Right. Yeah. Holy so shit! It looks like Nathan's ri- written a bunch of stuff. Oh. He's got a bunch on. Well, plug uh, your shit. Where can you buy Nathan? Uh, Timmel's just go books? to Amazon. Amazon.com. Look up Nathan Timmel. T i m m e l. Um, and this book is called, like I said, it's okay to talk to animals. But he also has. It appears that he has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Holy published, shit. Published things well, on good there. for him. Yeah. Go get his stuff. So anyway, Chapo has a few nicknames. El Chapo, Chapito, mm-hmm. LJ, Little Jeans, Baby Jeans. Mm-hmm. And lately it's been he's been called Skeetle Bops. I call him Skeetle Bopper or Skeetle Bops. Skeetle. Skeetle Bops. Because he's Skeetle Bops around now, yep. which is adorable. Mm-hmm. 
You, I call stinky farts, mm -hmm. shit beard. You don't call me shit beard. It's a lie. You call me usually jeans. Jeans. Tommy. Tommy. Salami. Salami. Tommy Salami. Yeah. What else do I call you? Uh, farts. We call each other farts a lot. <laughs> we do. Just farts. <laughs> farts. Yeah. Farts. I call you Tina. Mommy. We call each other yeah, mommy. I call you Tina, mommy. Yeah. I'm jeans, Tina. Sloppers, jeans. Sloppers, hangers, tit master, monster tits. Monster tits, you do call me yeah. a lot. That's uh, fun. Uh, sweet hangers. Yeah. Um... I don't know. I think that's about it. Kissy face. Kissy jeans. Kissy jeans. Yep. That's a lot. The dogs all have bitsy schnitzel. Yeah, I call her bitsels. Schnitzels, bitsels. Yeah. The bits. And then fief. Oh, fiefaroni, pepperoni, yeah. pepperoni. Fiefarella. Fiefarelli. Yeah. Sandricelli. Sandricelli. That one was my favorite one. Yeah. Sandricelli <laughs> is the dressmaker on my big fat gypsy wedding <laughs> on TLC. Yeah, and so we were calling him FIFA Rally Sandra Celli. Mm -hmm. That was fun. Mm -hmm. FIFA stinks. Yesterday he yesterday he really panicked. smelled bad. Yeah, he panicked and he emitted this horrific smell. Yeah. that we read about. That's I guess normal when dog because he gets anxiety when we were only gone a couple hours. We left wrong. We yeah. left all at once in front I of know. him and he panicked. It and was, also it the room good. got dark. Oh, that's a big reason. Yeah, and then Bitzels wakes up like <laughs> hello. La, 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 la. Did you leave? I took a nap. I didn't even know. Totally normal. I know. She's so balanced. like, are you ever going back? I thought you left forever. Am I going to the shelter again? By the way, I think the Carl Jr. nickname is hilarious. You can do it. Absolutely, you can do it. My dad called me a horse. Yeah. I'm great now. Look how high my self-esteem is. You can definitely... Let it go. Say it a lot. I mean, you know. Yeah, like it's funny. Let it rip. Like just at home. Just yeah. as long as you don't make that her her full time name. Yeah. Yep. And please let her define her pronouns. What is her pronoun? You gotta ask. It's it's child abuse if you make a baby have pronouns. Yeah. Child abuse. Child abuse. You know what's interesting? Speaking of baby jeans. What's that? You and I went to our first baby class together really fun really fun i really enjoyed it right yeah no no it's two now we've been to two and you pointed out how annoying it is that some of the other parents are rude yeah that they don't even acknowledge your existence and say hello how you doing mm -hmm. eye contact like oh, is it that fucking hard to just say hi yeah. to the other people there's like nine of us yeah I know some of them. You're, are you like you're? You're all sitting in a circle. You're the kind of people that make an effort to take your baby yeah. to this kind of thing. Yeah. And and then like you're you know you see their kid. You're like oh like what's what's his name? And then they'll say the name, and then they don't ask you what's your kid's name. Right. It's like it's Jimmy. And right. you're like all right. This is like a playtime. Yeah, it's so rude. I mean, you don't even have the goddamn manners. Yeah. To make a you know polite chat. What are you What are you looking for? I'm trying to just figure something out. Don't worry. What about are you it. figuring out? Something. <laughs> Jesus. Is it Salome? No. Oh. Well, wait, it can be. Can we go? We do that. Yeah. You want me to pull it right now? I'm so excited, you guys. It's been a long time. It's been a long time, and I got very nervous that our Persian lady had disappeared on us because the last we heard, she was thought, putting bags in the trees. We thought she had figured it out. Yeah. You know? <laughs> Uh, so the <laughs> <la> <laughs> I wanted to know what that Farsi lady was saying. <laughs> she went away for a long time. June. June. I thought she definitely figured, like, I thought she realized it's the wrong number. Stop on her phone to me are that the person who's leaving them never hears back never. from whoever she's contacting. Whoever you're contacting <laughs> hates you. Like, how about you just stop? You guys aren't friends. No. There's, there's no love there. Salome. Salome. <laughs> I assume you heard my message. I called today. A different number than you texted from. I got the text <laughs> that sounds good. Got your text. Because <laughs> I thought that I should. Salome. Salome. 
It's such a good song. It's uh, it's by Jordan Wolf, and it features Brian Daze. The song is called Salome. Salome. Jordan Wolf. Salome. Thank you very much for that. Um, anyways, it happened. You got another. I got, I got one on Thursday, and now look at the last time she she voicemailed us was June fourteenth. So it's wow. it's been a minute. Uh, three months. And I yeah, and I was convinced that uh, that our our thing was gone, that we yeah. were gone. That's yeah, amazing. I mean, thank goodness. Well, let's hear it. You want to hear it? I'm dying to hear it. Let's I haven't hear listened it. to it. I haven't Just heard it either. save it for the show. Hello, Solomon. Because I'm like Solomon, your man. In a thank you for your thoughts, but man, tough as hell. But Betty, Solomon, you're back in August. I'm going to sit you in Balamo. Man, man, I don't do not fat in your man. Man, I'm very good. I'm going to run more. More than man, I'm going to run more. Anyway, thank you for your thoughts, Solomon. This is my home number. Okay, you can call me. Talk to somebody. Whoa. <laughs> That's two different conversations happened there, clearly. You think? Yeah, she was leaving a message for Salome. Yeah. And then you can tell that she talks off phone to somebody. It sounds I like. Bit, bit, so it was like, yeah. Salome, I'm telling you something. And then she was like, oh. Blah, blah, blah. And then she goes, this is my, like, you can even tell how the, her mouth goes back to the phone, you know? Like she's talking to her, goes away. Hello, Solomon. Because I'm like Solomon, your man. In a thank you for your thoughts, but man, tough as hell. Yeah, tough as hell. Solomon, you're very much in love with her. I'm going to sit you in the middle. Yeah, yeah. Man, I don't do not fat in your man. Man, I'm very good. I'm good at money. I'm not mad. I'm not going to be mad. Anyway, thank you for your thoughts, Solomon. This is my home number. Okay, you can call me. Talk to somebody. Thanks for your talk, Salome. Wow. So it looks like they've been talking again. Yeah, yeah. Apparently, not about phone numbers that work and that not, don't work. No, nope, not at all. Um, anyways, so we well, all we have back. A, <laughs> we have a number of listeners that uh, speak Farsi that that translate for us. So hopefully, one of you will listen to that and send us a translation. Your mom's podcast at gmail dot com. Please put in the subject title Salome translation. <laughs> I'm so curious to know what's happened to her in the last three months. So much. We don't know. We know that she put bags in the trees to keep the squirrels away. From eating the figs. From eating the (laughs) figs. Is that what it was? Yeah. Yeah. Somebody sent a picture from a, I don't know, Reddit or something (laughs) of that that being done somewhere, you know? Oh. That's a... A thing that people do. They put bags over the figs. Over so fruit on, on oh, trees. Oh, we tie, may have to do that. Off, yeah. We got a fig tree. But it was in a, a tree place. with like 30 plastic bags <laughs> tied on it. It's a totally so crazy thing to do. <laughs> yeah. You may as well let the. That's a major get immigrant it. move for sure. <laughs> oh, for sure. Yeah. 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 Remember when you're, you told me a story of your Nana? Yeah. Um, she couldn't believe there were lemons. Yes. So she squeezed. Every single yeah. lemon from a lemon tree, yeah, in a in in, in a Ziploc bags, <laughs> and then put them in the freezer. Yeah, so your freezer was just like full fifty well Ziploc bags of lemon juice of lemon, and you're like what? And no for? one likes it. So yeah. my father, we had a lemon tree back in the house we lived at. Year this is when I was a teenager, yeah. and she lived in Canada at the time, and she grew up in Hungary, yeah. where they never saw citrus because yeah. of communism, there was no fruit. Yeah. So she came to L.A. to visit us, and she well, also couldn't... the climate, right? I and mean, the climate, it, yeah. yeah. She could not believe we were wasting... Free citrus. Free lemons. Yeah. So she juiced... And I mean, it, it took days, and she juiced every single lemon and then put the juice in a Ziploc bag, a regular old Ziploc, and then put it in the freezer. Now, she used the freezer that was in our garage that my father used for Fresca and beer. Mm-hmm. Like you know, he only has like a fresca and beer. A lot of it's a real dad move. A lot right. of dads do that. Yeah. <laughs> and she took out all the fresca and the beer and just stocked it. Oh, I didn't realize it was that. Yeah. Much. It was. I mean, it, I'm not. Exa- it was bags. What did you, was, your dad, was your dad thrilled when he found out? <laughs> Livid. Really? Li- I mean, the what fuck are, is this? The shit? fuck are we going to do with all the fucking lemon juice? I mean, I don't even need this shit. But what happened was, so she <laughs> took the lemon. She made lemon cakes. Lemon juice, lemon bars, so she lemon, really used lemon. It. She used everything. And then she went back home to Canada 
and we had these bags and sure enough my dad actually ended up making lemonade a lot see so it was a good thing and we used them for years like years later fresh lemonade is delicious certainly is tom but what a pain in the ass to make i hate lemon bars i hate lemon bars i hate like a lemon cake i hate lemon cake or lemon meringue i hate lemon or key lime pie oh that's oh. nothing grosser. Oh. I hate key lime pie. So, so, <laughs> so disgusting. Lick my con. You know what I hate? Lick too? it. Lemon bars. I fucking hate lemon bars, and I fucking hate orange marmalade with mm. like the orange peel in it. Yeah, I don't like, like that either. Why do you want to eat the? I don't peel? like that flavor of of jam. Orange. Mm mm. I'm not like, a fan. I don't no. mind the flav. I don't just want the the rind. I'm or maybe whatever. I'm a child, but if I if I'm gonna put a, a jam a spread on something, I like strawberry. Yeah. Grape. Raspberries. Yeah. Grapes great. Yeah. Raspberries good. Raspberry maybe. That's it. I I, I don't like the there. seeds in the in the jelly. Yeah. I like. Mm. I like apricot anything. My mother That's used my to favorite. make. Mar- a strawberry marmalade. No shit. Yeah, it would take like you know six hours or something. No shit. Yeah, I remember doing it, and it was. It was so delicious. Oh. Looking back, though, it, you would just take like cups of sugar, right? And you'd have this boil going. <laughs> it's so bad. For My you. God! But it was incredible. I wish your mom would do that stuff now. I know she's old. You know what? And I, you know what I used to tired. Like, you eat things you're like I would never put these together. She would take toast, mm. put butter on it, yep. put that strawberry marmalade, yeah, and then a piece of Munster cheese. Yes, yes. That was like my her, dad would do treat. that too. That's a very like foreigner yeah. treat. I never saw that so in gross. Like, American households. No. You know? Mary, you know what my dad would pack for my lunch for mm. a, san- a, a, a lunch? It would be butter and jam, strawberry jam and mm-hmm. butter for a sandwich. Yeah. Or butter and salami. Yeah. I mean, is there anything grosser he's for a, a kid? He's a goddamn, he's a cockroach. He's an animal. That. Yeah. I mean, how can I trade? I couldn't trade anybody for that piece of shit sandwich. No. And then a can of like Chef Boyardee. So you had butter, salami. Butter and salami. That's Your it? stomach would hurt. Oh my god. Because there's so much grease. Yeah, that's really rich. It's grease and grease. Nice healthy lunch. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, and wow. then a can of ravioli, Chef Boyardee. It would be like orange, electric. Yeah. That pasta. I like that. I still like it. I, I would still eat it if I knew it wasn't so terrible. Funny how guys operate. God. Yeah. I, and I'm nervous because I'm leaving I tomorrow know. and the next day, and you're going to be alone with the baby jeans. I'm terrified. He's going to be, his fingers are going to be in all the sockets. I'm going to be like, uh, you want to have some steak? Yeah. Give him some steak. Yeah, feed him hot dogs and hot shit dogs, while I'm gone. Yeah. Sausages. Oh, my God. I already told uh, our nanny to make food for him so that you don't. That's what he's been doing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got to keep an eye on him, right? Yeah, I'll keep you an eye watch on him. him. I'm going to watch him. He's my son, of course. Oh, my God. You're nervous? Yep. You have to change his diaper and stuff, too. I do that you can't all the time, wear the same man. one all day. Talking about. What are you talking about? Let's practice? do a little horrible or heinous. Ready? Hilarious or horrible? <coughs> Want to do that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's see what we got here. Who is that? <laughs> oh, I see where this is going. a cigarette. <laughs> yeah. Something He's, tells uh, me I know. What's he doing? He's got a big open flame, <laughs> a glass. Stupid idiot. It's lit up. Oh, oh no. Oh. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh no. Oh. Oh, no. oh my god. You didn't laugh. No, you know Neither why? Did I. It went to it, it, it I got scared for him. So did I. So cuz I had a friend who in college would light his hand on fire when we were drunk as a joke. Mm-hmm. He would put rubbing alcohol on like his hand that. and yeah. then light it mm-hmm. and then one time of course he burned himself <laughs> really bad. Yeah. Really badly and Oh my god. There you go. Oh, look at the joy in your eyes. That you haven't been that. We went to the new house today, yeah. and I didn't see you smile like you just smiled. Yeah. Right. We just bought a house for the first time. Hey, look at the joy in your eyes. Yeah. Yeah. You, you know what I'm saying? I'm being serious, Tom. Yeah. This look in your eyes, the, the the joy, the smile in your eyes. Yeah. You don't get that anytime else. Then when I see somebody get hurt. Yeah. This is crazy. This kid. I hate it. I don't want to see it again. It's like I picture glass. Alice doing this. What do you want? <laughs> Oof. Oof, man. Shit, man. He spills it. You know that can happen so fast. Oof. Yeah, look at that. Oh, fuck. He's lucky his buddy was there to help him. Oh, oh my god. 
this fire is picking up. Yeah, oh, fire man. is nothing to fuck with, no, dude. No, dude. God damn. And you know, boys love to play with fire. I loved to play with fire when I was a kid. I should, you know. I went to high school with a kid that was uh, convicted of arson. Really? Yeah. What did he set on fire? Florida State University. Oh shit. Yeah. Yeah, he he set fires there. What a dummy. Yeah. Pretty crazy. Oh, uh, is he still in jail? No, he got out. He got out. Um, he got out years ago. But he, I think he, let me see, he probably did like three or four years oh in my a federal God. penitentiary. Yeah. So he just set the school on he fire? He set fires on campus oh. and he got busted. Yeah. I get cool. it. You know, young boys and fire. Yeah. They just love it. I, a lot I of mean, my, he wasn't that young, you know. He's like, well, 19. Something like that. You know, your brain's all right. fucked up. I but when you start setting... Uh, buildings and stuff, you know, start setting fires in the library. Um, I'm sorry, where? In the library. Yeah. You can, you know, he could have killed somebody. Absolutely. So it, it, this isn't like little, he wasn't doing, oh, check out this little gag I'm pulling here. He was trying to set deliberate fires. I know. To, you know. I know. Cause major damage. And he had, I'm saying like he had real, real issues. Real, real problems. Yeah. Homeboy, he wasn't, he wasn't doing well. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I know it went to sleep behind me. Anyways, <laughs> it's probably because you're so thirsty and oh. dehydrated. Yeah. Oh, what? Um, hold on. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. Try. I'm, I'm talking to Sickler. Oh, you mean Sickle Cell? Yeah. The name that I uh, came up. With. You're gonna lead him. Right. Yana, you're leading the witness. You're right. leading him. I'm not leading. He's him. going to say you because you're his best friend, and you're asking. I'm not asking. Uh huh. No, I'm not. I really, I really want to get an honest opinion from him. He might, you know, might say the uh, <coughs> what you think. You know, he's <laughs> not. Yeah, he's gonna side with you because you're his dumb boyfriend. But why? Why would he do that? Because you're his dumb boyfriend, and you're gonna lead him. <laughs> okay, let's just uh, Yana. Uh, Yana, I want to get, I want to get the honest take from him. I really sure. Do. Okay, I do. If he gives you, if he gives the crown to you, I'll accept it. Okay. 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 Look at Gigi Allen's new hat. Can we remove the the bread though? <laughs> no, he likes it. Okay. He says I can call him. Let's see. I oh, know. Phone. Oh, number. you're. You guys are both. You're texting him right now. I know. Say I. Say I made it up. Okay. You're texting him right now. I'm gonna I am fucking. I'm not. You better submit those texts for transcript text, Jana. I'm to not. the court. Submit the text to the court. Okay, he says to call him. So <sighs> you're a lying liar, like your poop pile lies. Okay, let's uh, let's see what he says. Boop, what boop. is that beeping now? Why does it do that? It's because your shit's all fucked up. <laughs> My shit's all retarded. <laughs> is it gonna do that through the thing? Oh, is that you? That I, that was I just saw a missed call from yeah. this number. Is that you? That's me, buddy. How are you? Cool. I'm a. Uh, um, we're doing our podcast right now. So Hi, Ryan. Sickle Cell. Hey, Sickle Cell. What's up, partner? Hi, CP3O. There you go, <laughs> CP3O. Hey, man. So we've been having this debate. It, it got pretty <laughs> heated. Um, and we needed you to weigh in on it. Um, who gave you the nickname Sickle Cell? Man. That's a tough. That's a tough one. There Should it be? Because it's well, the answer. Well, let them let them decide. Let them think. Because I mean, I'll just tell you, we both claim to have to, to have done it. it. And um, Clear, clearly, you both claim it, or you wouldn't be calling me on a Skype call during a podcast. <laughs> yeah, it got it got real, man. It got real. I love I love that this matters so much to you guys. Which oh. one of you gave me the the horrible nickname? <laughs> I took off my Man, wedding ring. I'm so you're upset. You're yeah. defending it <laughs> of who did it. Yeah. Like, that would be something I'd be like, nah, nah, you came up. I'd be totally cool letting that go. <laughs> no, we're like. I'm like, we... nah, you're the piece of shit that gave me a black cancer nickname. <laughs> um, I know, but we really each are trying to claim it. But, so you don't recall, though. Let's be honest, right? It sounds I, like it. I, I No. If, gun to my head, no. Here's what I do recall. I feel like. I feel like cr the way Christina says it, I feel like I've heard it more, but I really felt like you started saying it first. That's, there you go. that's how I feel. Yeah, that's how you feel. That's because I developed it A lot of times, first. I know my therapist says to go with my feelings, <laughs> so I feel like I feel like you just spoke. You know? How dare you, Ryan? 
I invented it. Well, clearly, you feel like you needed to call me. <laughs> yeah, I do. What you're feeling. I'm going with my feelings right now. I feel like it was T buns. I, oh I, my I god! Do. I'm sorry, Christina, but am I wrong? Yes. You can, but here's the thing: I'm malleable. So if you can go, well, remember <laughs> this? I could go. Oh yeah. Yeah. I do remember that. Because I feel like I what? I invented it, and then he was too chicken shit to call it to your no. face, and then no. I did it first. Me, I'm chicken shit to call it to, to his face. To call him face. sickle cell. You didn't want to. You thought what? it was too I'll tell offensive. You what I re- I'll tell you the, the best way to solve this is okay. after. Call um, Puddin. Call Puddin. No, we're definitely not going to do that. <laughs> we're, uh, af- rem- do you remember when I came to see your, uh, to Brian's screening? Yeah. We went to see the screening and I walked into the movie theater. Right. And it. In unison, you both scream, sickle cell! <laughs> and everyone, including African Americans in the theater, looked at me. So I feel like maybe it was a joint venture. Uh, that it's, really, uh, it's a better answer. That's, that's a good answer. That's the maiden we, were, we were going yeah. through all Nick, the reason, we're going through nicknames that we have for family, for friends. And that's how it came up. And you actually just brought up one you didn't even bring up was Buns. Buns. Obviously, you call me I don't buns. call you that. You call me Buns sometimes. I, in Bunsy. my phone, you're Buns. But you'll say Bunsy. Buns sometimes. Yeah. yeah. That all uh, is Buns. Yeah. Buns. I'm buns. For buns. I remember those. What's he, that? For? He used to leave me voicemails. Ryan would call me and it, it would just it would go to voicemail and I'd press play and it'd be like, I'm calling for Buns. And he, <laughs> and he would leave a long message about like, I'm out on a fishing boat and this guy, this guy taps me on the shoulder. I mean, I couldn't believe some guy swam up to me and he said, I'm looking for buns. And that would be the swam whole thing. up in the ocean. Yeah. He'd leave wow. me these elaborate messages about looking for buns. T-nuts. I got I that. I like T-nuts. Cocks and balls and dicks and taints. I like that one. Um, T-buns came from Tommy Buns, which comes from the movie Belly. Uh, where DMX right. DMX plays a character named Tommy Buns. So in college, I will wait. Huh? I'm going to ask you back. Yeah. When is the first time you said Tom? You say you created. Yeah. Sickle stuff. You're the originator. So when? When was the first time you remember calling me that? And same question for you, Christine. The first time I remember calling you that, I I, I honestly can't remember. I mean, it would be like it would have to be back around. Oh my God! Probably two thousand and four or something. It's, oh, interesting. Three or four? No. When yeah. did we start dating? You and I started dating around that time. Uh, interesting. Yeah, more. You and I started dating more. I would say late oh four, early oh five. Interesting. And right around the time the nickname originates. Yeah. Interesting. Well, that's right around the time I started. You know, hanging out with Ryan a lot too. So. Oh 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 oh! You guys weren't oh. friends before. Yeah, we were. Okay. I said oh three oh four. Uh-huh. I, s- I think it came around the Puddin' time, the Puddin' era. Puddin', another nickname of a great man. <laughs> um, yeah, more nicknames. Well, I, you, I can't take credit for that. That's our the high school football coach. Do you, I remember that. I love that the story behind that is one of my favorite nickname stories. It's just that basically Ryan's old roommate was playing high school football, <laughs> goes to his coach, which is it, it, it's better if you really imagine how pathetic this is, that a, a player went up to a coach and was like, all these guys have nicknames. <laughs> I want a I nickname. Want a nickname. <laughs> and then the coach looked him up and down and goes, "You're pudding." He gave him, he gave him, <laughs> he gave him an elevator look up yeah. and down, and then just went pudding. <laughs> <laughs> and then he was happy with that, right? Wasn't he happy with pudding? I mean, you gotta be fucking happy with what you ask for. Yeah. Sometimes, I guess. Do you have any other nicknames? Uh-huh. I mean, Sickle Cell is your best nickname. I'll I'll go ahead and say that. Yeah. But do you have any other ones? Uh, I'm sure best goes to uh, an individual preference on that. But yeah. <laughs> I'll say this for Christina. Christina yeah. says, you say 03, 04. Puddin was 02. So Christina, date-wise, might have just might have just on a sense here. Wait, wait. I'm confused. Wouldn't Puddin you have... Said, Puddin got his nickname in high school, though, right? Yeah, but what I'm saying is Christina said she... Sickle cell originating around that time. That time would have been 2002, which precedes your 0304, is what oh, I'm saying. Interesting. I'm confused. Meaning I'm right. That I originated Christina, sickle cell. Christina follows what I'm saying. Wait. Meaning I, the, I say the name origin dates further back in time. That's not true. Meaning That's not I'm true. right and you're wrong. You, it doesn't do, date back to 02. <laughs> That's what Ryan's saying. That's what your well, BFF I'm is saying. 
Chris, I asked you when you first remembered, you said 0304. I asked Christina when she said pudding, top, beginning of pudding time. Around the 02. pudding era. Okay. Now, but also, you, no, you weren't hanging out with Egan, Ryan and pudding in 02. Again, but listen, Tangier was happening. And I would book you and Ryan every week when we were doing Tangier. And that was right around 02, 03. And I, started, I met you guys. One of my favorite rooms I've ever done in LA. Yeah. He says one of his favorite rooms he ever did. In I know, wasn't yeah. it fun? Yeah. And I remember Ryan seeing you at the Cat Club, and that yeah. and around there, yeah, that era mm -hmm. came Bar sickle cell. <laughs> okay. And Look. then I walked into the theater, and that 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 night was when it was really born. Like I feel like you guys have just been saying it to me, but that's when it was born. When and when he walked into Brian's Howard. screening. <laughs> And we yeah, saw him. And then and we, we were dating. Sickle cell. Yeah. You and I were fully so dating. That, I was that working. Working. My favorite sickle cell story <laughs> is when I was working that writing job. Yeah. At we were talking about this. Christina's friend, coincidentally, happened to work on the same floor to the other side of the building and sprinting down the hallway screaming, sickle cell. And this little <laughs> effeminate black dude that sat across from me named Kendrick, who I love, all I could hear him say was, Pickle said, and I started laughing so hard. I didn't know what to say. I just was like, "Isn't that a terrible nickname?" Pickle said. Oh, God. Pickle said. Pickle said. Yeah. So that's that. I can trace the how how we I say it like that back to that guy. Right. Um, yeah. But it predates but, uh, other that. Other nicknames. Yeah. Do you have any other nicknames? Ronnie. Oh, Ronnie Love. Uh, yeah. Um. That's really it. I mean, my last name. So a lot of people just short. A lot of people shorten sickle cell probably because they don't want to look like the idiots that you guys do to sickle. Sickle, yeah. Um, yeah and yeah, great. They're, they're, not, they're not comfortable screaming. Hey, sickle cell across the crowd and fucking movie. <laughs> if, I, <laughs> if I got you like a a jacket with a badge that said sickle cell on it, would you wear that? Definitely, definitely, I would never wear that. Oh really? How about a hat? He said, oh, he said, oh, really? Like, he's surprised. <laughs> yeah, what if it's a real nice jacket, though? Yeah, like a nice jacket or a nice hat, oh, you know? A nice hat. Oh, says, a nice one. Yeah. yeah. A nice one. A yeah. nice one. Oh, I, I thought you just meant, like, a cheap windbreaker, but if it was no. a nice one, yeah. What if it was, like, what a, if what if it was like a $1,500 <laughs> leather, you know, Gucci jacket, <laughs> and we just sew sickle cell on there? Embroidered. Yeah, embroider it. You said, you said a badge, like I'd be Sheriff Sickle Cell. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That. Okay, that's pretty that. cool. We got to get that for him. Yeah. Christmas is right around. Um, 
Do you remember Vinnie Jones? No. Vinnie Jones was a a British footballer, right? As we footballer. Would, as we would call him, soccer. a soccer player. Um, and here he is in a, in a scene from the movie Snatch, oddly oh. enough. Oh. Okay. So that's him right there with like the big mug. Great movie. Guy Ritchie, as you mentioned. You're having second thoughts. Guy's good though. Oh, he's amazing. Um, That's how good I act too. So, but faults. the funny thing is, he's known for being, you know, he was a like I said, well-known, not just soccer player, footballer, but he was one of like the you know intimidators, aggressive types on the mm. field, fuck people up, you know. Mm. So, anyways, I guess now he's doing some coaching or something. Mm. Looks like he's coaching. I'm trying to see where he's coaching here. Let's see if it's Manchester. Here. Or leads. Anyways, there's a video of him given what looks like obviously people younger than him. He's coaching them up. Like, what the fuck was that? And I love great. it. Oh, good. You know you love coaching. What I do get pissed <laughs> off with is the fucking decisions. That's Santa Monica. Hey, John, what, oh, shit. When there's a guy stood in front of you there, mate, why not say, here you have it? Why go for this fucking worldy one here? It's 90 degrees. You, you know, it's, it's decisions. Pass it easy there. Then we can come out here. Then we can go there. And then we shuffle it over. I love this shit. <laughs> But it's all about decisions. Danny, you can't tell me you're six foot three and you ain't won a fucking header all day. All of a sudden, you're going like this, all that old bollocks. The centre half's coming in here and going, bang, have that back there. You're throwing the fucking throw one in. I've been in the game too long, Danny, for this bollocks. Either fucking win it or fucking get off. I'll get someone who can fucking have a challenge. I love it. Looks like he's coaching, what is this, high school? It's so, could you imagine this guy is your coach? You're like, it's wait great. a minute, you're the guy from fucking Snatch? It's amazing. They're coming straight through you, and the big fella, the half colored fella, he ain't a bad fucking player. I wish I had him in my fucking midfield. Love it. Because at least he can pass to a fucking blue shirt. Blue shirt? At least he can pass to a fucking blue shirt. Passionate coaches. Are I the love best. it. Cursing ca- coaches. For sure. Cursing. It's fucking passing all over the place. You don't want to. Don't waste my fucking time on a Sunday by coming here and wanking it off. <laughs> wanking it off. Are they on a Sunday? On, on, a, on, a, Sunday? on, on a Sunday? Oh. You can't tell me, Ty, you can't pass six fucking yards to a fucking yellow shirt. You all think you fucking know the fucking standards. Until you can pass fucking ten yards, then fucking listen to me. <laughs> hmm. I like it. You always it. come here and then you fucking always got excuses. Don't think, lads, I've been at the level, the highest level you can get. I can see who's fucking cheating. I can see that oh, nearly run. Danny, I can see all that older oh, sun's in my eyes. Ain't in his eyes, is it? Making a fucking Sunday morning pub player look fucking good. <laughs> <laughs> and looking round here right now, I would have money on them. Right? All you lot, sure. There's, there's my prediction. My money's on them. Unless you wankers can fucking pull yourselves out of the fucking bed and fucking get in here and fucking work hard and win the fucking ball and pass the ball. I see it all in fucking training. This is a, I think this is a halftime speech. 
I didn't know what it was. Yeah, I think it's a half Dude, they get so freaked on soccer. Stop your fucking hospital balls. Oh, yeah. That's fucking insurance balls, little balls in there. You're their fucking best player on this side because you're getting my fucking boys killed. Fucking playing it. Play one in there. Or play one in on this fucking head there. What is this from? It's so good. I really love it. I I really, really love it. I love... I could watch just clips of that. You could tell that he does really give a shit, though. That's, That's why, why it's rad. It. Yeah. Don't you wish somebody could come in and shout at you after bad stand-up sets? No, because I hear the voice in my head already. <laughs> I know. I, I have that You're voice for my stand-up shit. most days I know. during the day. I know. You're fucking shit. The internal coach. Yeah, internal coach is like... I know. You think that's a fucking good punchline? You're a piece of shit. Yeah. I know, but Micros have better fucking punchlines than you. You fucking I know. suck. Actually. Isn't that terrible? Do you think yeah. most people's inner voices are that horrible? Mine, mine's horrible. I think a like lot that. of stand ups, for sure. <laughs> I think that's one thing we definitely have in common with other <laughs> comics. Self loathing? Yeah. Intense? Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, I think so too. I think I got it. Yeah. yeah. Um, I just fucking fuck a shit. Fuck shit. A fucking right. sucker. Should we roll? What Football. should we do? You want to yeah, do a yeah. dental update? What should we do? Um,. Yeah, I like them. I haven't had one in a long time. I think Dude, I, we gotta find another dentist, man. We're moving. I know. What's going on? Fuck. Oh, I just opened pictures of myself on accident. On accident. Oh, you know you wanted to see. I don't want to see that shit. I love looking at me. Oh God, it's the worst. Here we go. I will say, <clears throat> doing this show and that's deep, bro. I'm I'm used to hearing my shitty voice. Yeah. You know, in the beginning, I couldn't even listen. No, wait. Why don't you give me the "Would you rather" instead? Oh, this is silly. It's just oh. silly. I- Drink the top layer. How many itchy assholes? It's time to play with real sexual predator. It's time to play with chunky. It's time to play with oh. naughty filled toilet paper. The urine from two dirty homeless men. It's time to bite my butt with your mucus. Homeless jar. I've of been to have sex with your sister. Take it in the face. Vinegar strikes. The grandmother walks in on you masturbating. Never have another orgasm. It's time to play. 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 Would you rather? Rather. 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 All right. This one's a little more subtle. It's not gross. It's not. You know, would you rather eat cum or shit? Like Jesus. It's, it's more nuanced, so you have to All pay right. attention. Okay, I'm are you attention. listening? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Yeah, okay. Would you rather everywhere you go, everywhere, mm-hmm. meetings, you're on the airplane, you're in the hotel, you're on tour, everything, everywhere you go, you have to take Bitsy. So mm-hmm. that means you got a service animal, or you got to get a note from your shrink. It's your emotional needs dog. It's already really bad. And hold on. you demand that she has her own area in your dressing room and that she barks senselessly all the time and wakes you up in your hotel room. Uh-huh. Woo, woo, like she did this morning for no reason. Yeah. And you got to be that guy that carries around <laughs> a 10 pound Brussels Griffon. Yeah. It's, it's your dog. People are like, this guy's an asshole. Right. Sure. You're yeah. an asshole. Yeah. And he, it's embarrassing, and people think you have fucking mental problems. Or, mm-hmm. same thing, everywhere you go, every city you go to, everything you do, you do it Yeah. with your mom. <sighs> <laughs> so easy. This became so easy. How? I mean, I... How is this easy? I commend you for, like, the thoughts involved and yeah. for giving it, like, a real, you know... <laughs> A real go at, at something interesting and different. Uh huh. Um, one hundred percent bitsy. <laughs> you know what happens is the bond between my dog and I will grow. <laughs> I'll be just more attached to her, probably. Yeah. She'll probably. She's gonna bark all the time. She'll find her way into my shit. act. I'll just right. like bring her on stage, and yeah, you know, so I'll just figure it out. And she's small. That's the small. one thing. She's very small. Yeah. Even a Bitsy shit is small. You yeah. know, Bitsy P is small. Yeah. Easy to feed her, easy to get her water. But it's embarrassing. It is embarrassing it's that embarrassing. I'm walking around everywhere with my fucking dog. A 10 pound little shit, and you're yeah. this, you know, big dude. And I don't know, man. She's I, annoying. But I do love the dog. Of course. So, she's the best. And it is fun to have a companion. And she is a great companion. She yeah. loves cuddles. Yeah. She loves belly scratches. She's yeah. a sweet, adorable dog. My mother would would drive me to either murder or suicide, you know? 
How much I love my mom. Tommy, Tommy. No. What time is the plane leaving? Can you imagine uh. having to <laughs> to manage that? To manage I someone know. like that? Tommy, I have so much anxiety. And you're like, oh okay. God. And I'd be like, and then we're going here. I'm tired. I'm like, I don't want to <laughs> hear it. That's what I gotta do. Sorry. Tommy, what time is the show? Do I sell your merch? <laughs> yes. I don't have a square reader. Go get one. How? Where? How do I sign? When do I sign? Mom. <laughs> I want to go to the casino. Go get change. <laughs> I don't have no change, Tommy. Mom. The questions yeah. all the time. Oh, my God. And then we have, then we go back. No. <laughs> it's like traveling with a toddler. It is. Once your parents get older, especially ones who, my mom already, like, she asked questions when I was a toddler. Yeah. Like, she would be, it would be insane. It would yeah. be really fucking I crazy. know. It, when you think about it, your parents just degenerate, and they get shittier and shittier. Crazy. And then you have to, you know, like, we were taking, we took Ellis out last night for dinner, and he was sitting in a high chair, and in the corner of my eye, I saw what looked like a stroller, mm -hmm. and I was going to look and go, oh, look at the other baby, and it yeah. was an elderly person in a walker. <laughs> So, you you know, it's interesting. You start in a stroller or you end in a stroller. It's you know, true. someone's pushing you around. It's true. At the end of the day, too. Um, look, we got to get going. By the way, don't forget uh, patreon.com slash mom. Put that shit Put down. Put that shit down. Patreon.com slash mom. Um, we had to take away a couple of tiers of, of rewards because uh, just because of scheduling. It's just too hard to pull them off. But there's a new episode that's up. Um, when is it up? Friday, something like that, Monday, Sunday, Saturday? I'm sure. The first. So um, thank you for all the Patreon support, and um, thank you for listening to your mom. What would you take? You'd take the dog, for sure. Over your mom? Or over your dad? My mo oh, forget it. I, I would take 10 dogs over <laughs> either of See? my parents. Yeah. See? Yeah. 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 God. Of course. My mom was a mess, too. She was a real... My mom's not easy to manage. Cray-cray, yeah. I seriously might... I would go, have to go to see a... <laughs> like a psychiatrist, I have to get PTSD after yeah. spending a week it with her. Make, <laughs> dude, forty-eight hours makes me crazy with my mother. You know what's funny? Traveling is with her. My dad hated being with me too. After a couple days, like in Miami, I remember the Miami thing. He's run like, away. Oh, are you gonna go, get out of here or something? And you're <laughs> yeah. like, oh, I thought we were hanging out. He hates hanging out yeah. with me. Yeah, it's funny. So I I couldn't do it. No, very few people I could spend that much time with. Yeah. You, my cousin Julie. You know, Shauna, Sarah yeah. Burns, like few people in my yeah. life. You can really do it. I know. I'm that the you same can way. spend days and days. I'm the same way. You have to like Jenny Pentland, like people I've grown up with, basically. Yeah. Family isn't on the list. Nah. Yeah. Nah. I'm with you. All right. Um, no. Thanks for listening to the show. Your mom's house podcast dot com. Mm. Uh, dot com live shows. Thousand ranch dot com. And uh, that's it. That's it, Farts. Here's a... Sickle cell, name is mine. My Dad's Balls by Gaping Dad. <laughs> Thank you very much. Ah. And we'll see you... My Dad's Balls. Soon, yeah. <laughs> Hope you our dad like taught us not to be ashamed of our dicks. Mmm. Mmm. Especially since they're such good size and all. Mmm. It gets bigger when I pull on. Mmm. Sometimes I pull on it so hard, I rip the skin. Mm. That's gaping dad. Gaping dad. That's gaping dad. That's gaping dad. Gaping dad. That's gaping dad. Dick. I have my dad's dick. I have my dad's dick. I need my dad's balls. I have my dad's dick. I have my dad's dick. I have my dad's dick. I need my dad's balls. My daddy taught me a few things too, like uh, how not to rip the skin by using someone else's mouth instead of your own hands. Mm. Have my dad's dick. Have my dad's dick. I 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 have my dad's
my dad's dick. I need my dad's balls. I have my dad's dick. I have my dad's dick. I have my dad's dick. I need my dad's balls. Ball, 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 ball. of our dicks. Our daddy taught us not to be ashamed of our dicks. I have my dad's dick. I have my dad's dick. I have my dad's dick. I need my dad's balls. Ball, ball, ball. I have my dad's dick. I have my dad's dick. I have my dad's dick. I need my dad's balls. Ball, ball, ball. I have my dad's dick. I have my dad's dick. I have my dad's dick. I need my dad's balls. Ball, ball, ball. I have my dad's dick. I have my dad's dick. I have my dad's dick. I need my dad's balls. Ball, ball, ball. I have my dad's dick. I have my dad's dick. I have my dad's dick. I need my dad's balls. Ball, ball, ball. I have my dad's dick. I have my dad's dick. I have my dad's dick. I need my dad's ball. I have my dad's dick. I have my dad's dick. I have my dad's dick. I need my dad's ball. That was really great. It's so depraved. Oh my god.